turn up Charlie. As soon as I heard about what the premise of this this was, I was like, 100%, this is Idris. Like, he DJs, <laughs> that's his jam. What about this excited you? Was it the opportunity to sort of step into a DJ role too? Definitely, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I, I just, I'm, I am probably the last bastion of, 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 of last bastion of, of DJ culture. Like, yeah. uh, you know, DJs, now people DJ on their iPhones. It's like, uh-huh. don't that doesn't DJ. count. No, who cares? But I, I know, I know. Actually, I went to this party and this guy was, he calls himself DJ iPhone. Okay. And he, he was playing on a, on on his phone. Uh-huh. And he was killing was it. Was yes. But like, what are we, are we talking turntables? No, like, he you... had an app and it was, boom, <laughs> boom, I was like, this is cheating. But I was, ja- I was jamming. But no, I love it. I love DJs and I uh-huh. love the culture of it. And I wanted to figure out a way to, you know, just, you know, put it up there but you know it's not interesting enough mm-hmm. to make a drama about I wouldn't say it's not interesting enough but you have to find a way a in to else. humanize it to yeah. make it you know relatable and this right. is where um, being a parent and you know the experiences of raising my kid my, you know being around my daughter mm-hmm. influence this show and that's what I was gonna ask obviously he's he's got the side hustle he's a manny now how did being a father to your beautiful daughter who I've had the pleasure of interviewing oh, before, you did? yes Excellent. she's just sweet, so funny too she just like <laughs> lights up the room just like her dad exactly wonder where she gets it from that's what I'm saying <laughs> how has that sort of informed the way that you've taken on this role maybe you know maybe um, to a little girl it it, uh, it deepened it, you know. There was at, the, at first the, tro- the you know the tropes of you know daddy daycare, you know that kind of thing. But then um, we really tried to dig a little deeper with you know the sensitivities around being a girl and you know yeah. having parents that live in celebrity culture and you know we really wanted to sort of peel the onion back on that right. a little bit. And um, and it was not really about you know cele- a young girl that has a celebrity dad. It's about parenting. It's right. about you know, how do you approach that? And if you're not a parent and you're a man child, how do you approach a child that is way smarter than you mm-hmm. and needs guidance? And that's what we really wanted to um, jump into. So just my daughter, you've met my daughter. Mm-hmm. She's intelligent, she's smart, she's challenging. And, and that's what we wanted to sort of yeah. you know, put in. I love it. And I talked to your daughter and she was highly upset because you did not tell her about Coachella ahead of time. She heard that news with the rest of us. That's right. <laughs> so she was not into it. What can you tell us now? So hopefully she can watch E News and get some more updates. Well, can you tell you know, us something about Coachella? I can tell. I can tell her that um, you're definitely coming, Issy. <laughs> okay, you got the invite, girl. You know, she she's been like, Daddy, you, you have to let me. I have to come. That yeah. Know, so you oh, know. you got to share like the best. She needs the artist passes, the backstage, all that. The whole shebang. All of she's that. She's got that. Can you tell me what you're gonna play? Like, what's the? Is there an opening song? How do you no. want to? Sort of no, I mean I play I play house, I play tech okay, house, I and I, I'm gonna do a big set. And by big, I mean you know I'm gonna sort of bring in songs that are slightly outside the tech realm, okay. but make them feel like my my sound, Dope. and just kill it. You had a DJ name when you were 19. Do you care to share that with us? Uh, yeah, it's Mr. Kipling. Actually. Mr. Kipling. Yeah, what you got? That's not you what have... I was expecting. What not you, at all. Which one, Mr. Big Dress? Big yeah, Big Dress came a bit later, but Mr. Kipling that was, was my, first my first okay, one. Okay, wait, yeah, so where yeah. did that come from? Can you break it down for me? Okay, so Mr. Kipling, this is, this is a true story, but Mr. Kipling is a brand of cakes. There's okay. a company called Kipling, and they make cakes. Kipling cakes. Yeah, cakes. Okay. And in England, cakes are also called tarts. Okay. Tarts, okay? okay. So you like a nice tart. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> back in the day, I was apparently, you know, synonymous with the ladies. <laughs> and uh, in England, they call ladies tarts as well. Oh, this is okay. all like old lovely English. Tarts. Yeah, you just want a tart. She's lovely. It's not a compliment, however, but it is okay. a, a, a way. But it's a thing that is said. It was. Okay. And one day I walked in and, you know, I'm at this party and mm-hmm. there was a few of my friends, lady friends there. Mm-hmm. And someone said, gee, Idris, you got more tarts than Mr. Kipling. <laughs> And there, a name was born. Bang. And so I was um, Kip, Mr. Kipper's. How long did that last before you decided Big Driss was a wave? Uh, it lasted well into my 20s. Okay. And then Big Driss came because uh, people didn't want to say DJ Idris. They couldn't say DJ Kipper's. So they were like, <laughs> Driss, that, yo, this is Big Driss. Like- 